Alrighty, so this is just going to be a quick video. We've got the entire suspension together, as you saw last time, and our next mission objective was going to be those rotted out brake hoses, which we replaced both the back ones now. One on the passenger side was a bigger bitch than the one here on the driver's side. I had to use a torch and a lot of penetrating fluid to get the one on the passenger side done. This one came off with just, loosened up rather, with just penetrating fluid. So, a uh, couple of things here. You want to do this part first, this guy, and you want to do that with an 11 millimeter. You can probably use your regular 11, but better be safe than sorry. You may want to try the 11 flare or line wrench, I believe is the other thing they call those. Because what you don't want to have happen is A, strip that and then you're fucked, or B, snap that and then you're fucked. So, this is an 11, that's a 14. This is also a 14, and this is a 7 for the bleeder valve. So, what you want to do is you want to get your 11, put it up here, after you soak in penetrating fluid, because these are steel lines, so there's every chance that this is rusted. So, lube it up. Several days in advance if you can. If not, then, you know, make do with what you got. Like I said, I had to use the torch on the driver's side, or correction, the passenger side, because I didn't apply that much penetrating lubricant days before. But this side I did, and came off rather easy. So I'll put the 11 flare on there, you put the 14 down there, and then you just loosen the top while holding that guy steady. Popped right off. Then you just keep loosening that. Once you disconnect the fitting from the hose here, then you just pop that one loose with your 14, and then you can just spin it by hand the rest of the way out. And then uh, installations reverse, thread it through, and then uh, to give it a good, you know, tighten it up. I used the 14 flare, snugged it. You don't want to go too tight on these things. You don't want to go too loose either, though. And then uh, don't forget. There is a little washer on the bottom side of this. If that falls down, clean it off, pick it back up, and you'll see there's these four little, like, uh, things that are kind of protruding from this bracket here. They push down and they make contact with this washer. You'll see four little divots in there where it was making contact. Make sure you don't forget that, because if you put this thing in and you forget this washer like it falls and you don't notice it, it's going to be all wiggly in here. This whole line will be and you don't want them problems. So make sure you don't forget to put the washer back on the bottom. Push it through here and then you can finger tighten, assuming your threads and everything aren't messed up. You can easily finger tighten it down to start it with and then when you get towards the end put your 14 back here and then torque it fairly tight just to where it's not moving around or nothing with your, uh, your flare, your line wrench. And then you're golden so that is it. For installation on the brake hoses, and I only have this one. I threw the one on the passenger side away since I had done that one, what, a week or so ago by now. But this was the beginning of the end with this one, starting to rot through. This one was the least bad, because the one on the passenger side was completely rotted out. The rubber was, you could actually see the, uh, the copper braided line underneath. So we were, uh, we were on the countdown clock for brake failure. This one probably could have gone a little while longer, but I want to get them done. So that's it. Next is going to be uh, bleeding the brakes, which I'm going to use a second person to do that. DOT4 brake fluid is what these cars take, the BMW E38. Probably all BMWs do, I don't know. But this one for sure does, DOT4. So once my assistant wakes up, I'll be able to get that done, put this wheel back on, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the front. But that's it for this car, guys. Just want to do a real quick video how to replace the brake hoses on this without snapping your lines, without rounding off your nuts, without otherwise making this harder than it has to be. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.